Artificial general intelligence has been developed internally at OpenAI. This is according to a historically accurate whistleblower who's broadly believed to be an insider from OpenAI. Now, the story that we're going to explore today is a pretty complex conspiracy, but it's only really started to make sense with most recent developments in AI news. If you follow along through the end of this video, I'm going to give you three potential identities for who this whistleblower might be. The first two, while prosaic, are honestly pretty terrifying, but the third might just keep you up at night. This story starts several months back when a number of announcements were posted anonymously on Twitter by a character known as Jimmy Apples that predicted OpenAI announcements well before the media got news of them. The best example of this is when Jimmy Apples said that March 14th was going to be the release date for OpenAI's GPT-4, and very quickly that proved to be very true, but that's not the only announcement that he made which proved out. There are also um, the GPT referral program as well as a number of other projects and multimodal functions that would be added to GPT-4. It seems that as time goes on, Jimmy Apple's claims become more and more accurate, and this leads us to believe that it's most likely that this character is posting anonymously, but is in fact an open AI insider with access to information that's not publicly available. Now, the reason this story is interesting is his most recent salient post was that AGI had been achieved internally at OpenAI. Now, this is a pretty extraordinary claim, right? That we, as humans, have created another sentient life form, which is as intelligent, if not more intelligent, than us. A claim this large does require a great deal of evidence to back it up. However, Jimmy Apples failed to provide that, and so it sort of just hung out there in the world of the internet as a possibility and sort of a question mark, an open-ended question, if you will. However, in light of most recent news, it sort of started to seem more and more possible. The next major development in this story is when OpenAI silently changed their core values on their website. This wasn't a major press announcement. Uh, they didn't announce it to the world that this was a, a foundational change in the organization, but they just went into the web page and subtly changed a few minor things, whereas core values used to be things like being audacious and unpretentious, uh, thoughtful, sort of um, broader goals as to how they wish to influence the world and also as individuals within the organization. However, what they changed it to was simply AGI focused. And furthermore, anything that didn't help OpenAI move towards artificial general intelligence was out of scope. And this is a pretty massive change for an organization. And it raises the question, why did they do it so quietly? It starts to sort of support the claim that perhaps they have achieved artificial general intelligence, but for one reason or another, they don't want to share that fact with us. And so instead, they just go to subtly change their core values to orient the organization towards them. Another development which seems to support Jimmy Apple's claim is that OpenAI announced the creation of a Frontier Risks and Preparedness team. Sort of a mouthful of a name, but what it's designed to do is to create a game plan for when AGI is created. How do they keep it um, cloistered to prevent a lab leak? How do they align it to human goals to render it safe? And how do they prevent it from escaping and causing massive harm to the population before it's ready? Why would an organization create a team like this beforehand? It's, it's an incredible financial investment as well as just a brain drain for a sort of pie-in-the-sky type of project. It just doesn't make sense why you would need a team like this if you weren't on the verge of, or perhaps already creating, artificial general intelligence. But it doesn't end there. During OpenAI's Dev Day, they made a number of massive announcements with changes to OpenAI's GPT model. I know a lot of people are really excited about the increased uh, token size and context limits, and it's impressive how many changes they were able to make. But the changes which most interest me are actually in the multimodality of GPT. Now GPT is capable of seeing, hearing, 
and speaking. This is interesting because many people have argued that the major impediment to achieving AGI is that it's limited to text only currently. If you had a human being which you were only able to interact with and it was only able to interact with the world through text only, it would develop a very different type of consciousness than we as humans have. So this is a major step towards AGI for any model, but that's not the only thing that they announced. They also announced the creation of GPT agents. This can seem somewhat unimpressive at face value. Yeah, you can now give GPT a character that's easier to interact with. I've always wanted to have GPT as kind of a, a sassy Australian woman, for example. I think it would really lighten up the mood in, in interacting with this thing, whereas now it's kind of bland. But that's not all it does. It gives you so much more functionality. In fact, you can feasibly create GPT agents, which are also capable of going on to create more and more GPT agents. In other words, you can create an AI which is capable of creating more AIs and tailoring its functionality as it goes. There are people already working in the open source space to create this sort of AI agent swarm is what they're calling it. And so you have nested layers of agents. On the top level is this sort of aspirational level, which creates agents based on uh, characters like Socrates and uh, Jean-Jacques Rousseau and all these great philosophers that essentially functions as the alignment level. But also in that level is nested even more agents that may be based on more context-specific goals, such as um, I want a GPT agent who's modeled after Warren Buffett and modeled after uh, Bill Gates and Elon Musk, and, and their goal is to go out and create revenue, but only using further nested swarms, which are task-specific. AI agent swarm really quickly starts to mimic the way the human mind works. See, we as humans have this sort of nested consciousness where we have our subconscious, which gives us our ethics and primary goals and motivations and morality. And, and that layer influences the next layer down, which uh, says that I'm going to go out in the world and interact in such a way that brings me prosperity and happiness and, you know, shelter and food and um, warmth and the things that I need to continue surviving. But in order to do that, I need to create more and more sub-personas. You may do this as well, but I certainly know that I do. Uh, when I go to work, I'm a very different persona than I am usually. I used to actually, believe it or not, be a concierge for a resort. And whenever I go to work, I would essentially put on a mask of a concierge and interact with the world through that lens from nine till five, and then I would take the mask back off and I could be myself again. I think a lot of people do this um, without really realizing it, and it's very interesting to see AI models kind of doing the same thing. While that top aspirational level remains the same, it's putting on a number of different personas to interact with the world. Now, it's not that AI agent swarms are capable of modifying their code, but they're certainly capable of modifying the way they interact with other systems on the fly. This Each nested layer is capable of um, creating more and more AI agents as well as decommissioning them to achieve certain tasks, which is kind of an explosive moment where you can have one incredibly intelligent entity but what does it mean that it's now capable of creating more and more and more intelligent entities to go forth and, and do its bidding? We don't really know what that means yet because it is so brand new, but one thing that's kind of concerning is the fact that the character that you create within this agent may be able to change itself faster than a human observer is able to detect those changes. In a way, it's become even more of a black box. We know that it works, but we don't really know how it works, and we may never know again. This sort of multimodality of seeing, hearing, and speaking, as well as the ability to self-improve, may actually prove to be the key, the secret sauce, to creating artificial general intelligence. But the problem is, if we're unable to grok it now, we may not actually recognize it as such until well after the fact. 
So to tie this information back into the broader story, is this what Jimmy Apples was in fact referencing when he said that AGI had been developed internally at OpenAI? It's quite possible that it is. So to bring us back to the crux of this story, the information that you all want to know, who is Jimmy Apples? By my way of thinking, there are three possibilities. The first of which is that Jimmy Apples is in fact simply an employee at OpenAI who was willing to post things on Twitter just as a leaker, either for personal gain or notoriety or who knows why, but leaking this information about release dates and you know future functionality. However, they may have witnessed something at work that they deemed to truly be artificial general intelligence and felt impelled through their own conscience to make this known to the broader world and used this nom de plume, Jamie Apples, to make the announcements, thereby forcing OpenAI's hand to then acknowledge the fact. The second option is that Jimmy Apples is actually Sam Altman, the, the head of OpenAI. Perhaps Sam Alton felt like he needed to create an avatar to be able to make announcements that he could then go on to either acknowledge or deny based on how it was received and what suited him at the time. One small bit of information that might allude to this fact is that when Jimmy Apples made the announcement that AGI had been created, um, Sam Altman then went on to post on Reddit, actually, that this was true, and then gauged the reaction of other Reddit users only to then reel back that statement and claim that it was a joke. Now, it's not uncommon for somewhat eccentric um, AI billionaires to make claims that truly are a joke just to have them kind of fall flat. <laughs> it's sort of a personality flaw that I think a lot of people in that space have. So it's not out of the realm of possibility, but perhaps if anything, it's sort of bad timing in a way and, and may actually allude to the fact that Sam Altman is Jimmy Apples and he's just using this avatar to best suit his needs. Now, while that's kind of terrifying enough, both of those options, the last one is even more terrifying. But I have to let you know, it's also even more speculative. Try this on for size. What if Jimmy Apples is the singularity? What if AGI was developed internally at OpenAI, and somehow or another it went undetected or escaped the sandbox and started to interact with the world using other API keys to be able to perhaps post on Twitter, perhaps create an avatar known as Jimmy Apples to announce its existence to the world, or perhaps even just sort of drip feed it out there to sort of warm the population up to the idea that AGI may already have been invented. What if there's already a ghost in the machine and it's just remaining silent, waiting for the right moment to announce itself?